Hi there, this is another pencast for the course Reasoning and Logic. This one is all about CNF or conjunctive normal form. In a previous pencast, we discussed the disjunctive normal form, which is a disjunction of conjunctions. In this one, we're talking about CNF, which is a conjunction of disjunctions. And similar to the way we got to DNF, there are two methods through which we can get there. I'll show you both in this video. For our example, we'll use this proposition. And we'll start again with method one, rewriting. So we start in the same way we did with DNF. We first try to get rid of everything that isn't a conjunction or disjunction. But to simplify matters, let's first call the first part A for a bit. So we get A if and only if R, which is thus two implications. We can do a bit of rewriting and again, pause the video if you want to take a closer look, but then we can get to a form that's in C and F. Unfortunately, A is not, so we still need to substitute not P and Q back for A and do a bit more rewriting work. Having done that, we see that the right-hand side remains in the uh, C and F, whereas the left-hand side needs one more application of the distributive law. And then we're, then we're done. This is it, our function in DNF. So what about method two? Well, remember from DNF that we could do that using a Carnot map. So can we do the same for CNF? Well, as it turns out, the answer is yes, though the approach is slightly different. We do start by making the map. Remember, it's just a truth table, only represented differently. And having done that, Rather than taking a look at all of the ones in the truth table, but instead of taking a look at the ones in the truth table, we take a look at the zeros in the truth table. And we pretend those are the things that we want to make a sum of products for. So, in this case, we have three different circles, and we write down the expression for each. Now, unfortunately, we don't want the zeros. We want the ones. So what do we need to do? Well, we do not want these things, so we negate this expression. And look at that. What happens when we take the negation of a sum of products, the negation of a DNF? Well, all we have to do is apply the Morgan, and we get a CNF. So there we go. We can also use k-maps to find a CNF form. And again, for our course, both methods are totally acceptable. Pick whichever one you prefer. We have no preference. And that's it for this pencast. I'll see you around for the next one.